¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo está la, el vagabundo de la gana? ¡Saludos viejo! ¿Qué pasamos, Chicos, saludos a tus pueblos, güey. ¿Están en fiesta, pues, ahorita? Ya no. ¿Ya no? Ya no. Al, al coche, mándale ese uso. El coche, amigo, el que, sal, el que le echa la sal a los pollos, pues. Uh, welcome to the channel everybody. Today we have this uh, 2018 uh, Cummins X15 cylinder head. It is out of this Peterbilt thing is behind us. Um, from 2018 and I have uh, Cummins changed their uh, engine to the X15, which is the new platform engine for these heavy duty trucks. Um, but uh, they are not exempt of problems. They still have problems just like the ISX and the ISX15. And uh, as demonstration, we have this cylinder head and was removed because the engine was overheating. Um, it, it was just in specific occasions when the engine was going uphill, temperature was rising up. And also when uh, the truck was under a heavy load, temperature was rising up so fast and the cooling fan was on all the time and the, um, the temperature wasn't dropping at all. Um, they changed the thermostat, they changed the water pump, nothing uh, fixed the issue, still was uh, the same problem. And of course, right, if we get the problem, then the engine is overheating and there is nothing from the exterior of the engine that fixes the problem, that means that we have a problem in the interior of the engine. And in this case, the problem is right at the cylinder head. Um, this problem just started uh, to the point that the engine was controlling temperature at a specific point. So um, if I am correctly, the, the, the engine was overheating all the way to 225, something like that, and staying at 225 all the time. It was not dropping, it was not going higher, so staying at that temperature but that's not a good temperature anyway it doesn't matter the conditions the truck is working on um, but it was not that bad as some other trucks and the temperature goes all the way up to 260 270 and doesn't go down then you have to actually stop the shoulder of the, of the road to let the engine cool down and then continue but in this case that wasn't the issue but anyway we're gonna go directly to the problem then we have and of course right uh, the cylinder head is the problem in this case. I'm going to explain you why the cylinder head is the problem. But to do all this, of course, you have to remove the cylinder head. You have to remove all the components, uh, take everything apart on the top area of the engine to get access to the cylinder head. But, um, well, and at this point, at this case, in this case, we have it right here. And um, if you get the problem, then you, your engine is overheating. Coolant consumption and overheating are tied together in this case, in this type of problems. So those problems are going to be together. If you don't have coolant consumption and you are only get, uh, getting overheated engine, probably you have another issue. But those problems are going to be tied. All right, so in this case, this is the barrel area of the cylinder head. This is the area that sits on top of the engine block. And right here, there are cylinder valves, and this is what uh, creates the compression and the cycles of the engine and all this area. Um, the problem happens right here. And the problem just started, as I said before, we can barely see a small crack right here. It's very small to see it. It is visible, but it is not that visible if you don't pay attention to it. You have to focus your sight into that crack to be able to uh, see it. If you don't see it, you can barely see it right there. If you don't see it, well, uh, that's the problem because um, the situation is like uh, you can send this uh, cylinder head to the repair shop, to the machine shop, and get it uh, fixed, get it tuned up, uh, replace the bars, replace the seals, replace anything else. But if they, if they don't notice the problem that you're having on the cylinder head, 
you want to be installing the sensor in their head and this is going to keep on causing the same issue to the point that you want to be wondering yourself what is the problem with your truck if uh, the if the uh, engine is not uh, cooling you already replaced the cylinder head gasket but the cylinder head gasket in this case doesn't do anything at all um, and the major problem is it's just the cylinder head so um, the best way to repair this problem is replacing the cylinder head entirely you cannot send it to a machine shop probably in some other countries they are capable to repair these kind of problems but in here in America is not something then um, very common to see uh, so in this case these uh, cylinder heads has to be sent back to the dealer and we have to get a new cylinder head or we can buy a used cylinder head and it's in a good condition all we have to make sure is then we don't have any type of damage on this area it doesn't matter if we have damage in other areas right here if we have any lines anything any cracks they are from here to here as long as they're not deep if they're just superficial cracks here it's not a problem but if you have anything in this area the bottom area of the cylinder head the cylinder head is not functional anymore and um, the cylinder number five and cylinder number uh, four are the ones that have the damage this one has another damage right here but it's very small it's very hard to see it not very able to see it uh, like this but uh, that small that tiny crack is what is creating coolant consumption and um, overheating on this engine and we also can see the stains on the exhaust we can see this white stain right here this white mark come to the side that white mark you can see there that is a uh, water consumption stain and that is the reason why we have that white mark you can see there same see right here inside let me get a flashlight let me use the phone so we can get more focus mm. right there that all of that is water so the um coolant always leave a mark from any area from where from any area doesn't matter from where it's coming but the travel uh section where the coolant flows it doesn't matter if it's liquid or steam it's still gonna leave you a mark because the coolant has many different type of additives that makes it look uh white when it dries out and uh that is uh the situation with this one but anyway um uh, here we have the problem with this uh, Cummins X15 and of course right uh, this is going to be a very expensive uh, repair uh, based on a broken cylinder head if the cylinder head weren't broken in this case will be a different uh, situation different scenario on the price but in this case because the cylinder head is broken hopefully we can send it back to the dealer and don't get charged with a the with the court because the cylinder head is damaged um and that will actually decrease the amount of money we have to spend on repairing this engine but uh if that is not the case we will have to pay the core and pay a new cylinder head to be able to save this engine to make it work as it was before but as it is right now here we have the another engine another common say six engine with a broken cylinder head and as i say this is a very common problem that is happening nowadays with these engines and um at this point it doesn't matter if your engine is deleted or not deleted it's going to happen eventually since this is a weak point of these engines so i hope you like this video check my instagram account francisco my youtube you can see all the things that i'm doing um like the video if you like it uh go to the description of the videos and support my channel comment below if you have anything to add uh, besides whatever i say about this cylinder head you can add anything else and thank you for watching